It's not looking very good, is it? This here is our workshop. We started building this year after we bought the place, so about eight years ago. We put the slab down first. A couple of mates came over, gave me a hand. It's a nine by seven, so it's a pretty good size. Um, we started putting the frame up, designed that, had the parts cut to shape and everything else and delivered, and we started putting that up about six years ago. Got a bit slack with that. And then of course COVID hit, which, you know, we live in a small town, so getting things delivered is, especially during COVID was, was pretty hard. So for three years, we didn't do any work. And then we found out our house, which we bought here, really isn't a house, it's a money pit. We're just trying to survive in that and fix it up so we don't have any major issues. But we've made the decision, you'll see later on, we're gonna tear that house down and build a new one. And in order to do that, I need to move some of the tools that are from around it. So the boss has asked me to finish this off, which is actually a good idea. So um, it sat for a while and I think uh, the best thing I can do now is see if I can clean around it. You know, there's obviously a few trees that have come down and the grass has come up. There's a couple of holes I dug for something else, which I'm not gonna use, so I wanna fill those in. And I'll use these new UE tractors, the tractor here, and you can't really see it, but up here, over there is the excavator. And um, yeah, I'm not gonna do too much wood cutting, but I'm just gonna try and move the trees that have fallen and try and just clean around it a bit so I can get the mower in and clean it up. So um, you're nothing fancy. See, so here we go. of equipment I'm sure I'm not using it properly but uh, as you can see if it recorded I'm not sure managed to move that stump um, I'll, I'll cut it up later on I'm just not I'm not uh, in the mood to do it today that's one big spider man
you have it. What's that? Um, three hours or something? I'll tell you what, if I had to shovel that by hand, I'd have been here for weeks. So, as you can see, cleared where the tree was, filled in the four holes, ex tried to make it as bad as I can. That's still a little skill I've got to pick up, of course, and started clearing here. Where are we? Here. Here. Going up behind the, uh, the shed, because obviously it's a little bit close to that embankment, so the more I clear that off, the easier it's going to be to get in behind there and put all the tin and everything on there and plus it would be nice to put sort of like uh, some kind of drain you know if I can put a drain there so the water runs down it's a we can call it a French drain but either way a gravel pit you know it'll run around the outside um, the spoil I guess you could say I've been dumping over here just for now because um, you really can't see it but we on the other side of the shed there are another four holes so I'm gonna move these old cars uh, next couple of weekends fill that in and then I'll excavate um, around the other side. So, well, maybe I'll do it tomorrow. I'll see how I feel. It's pretty hot here. It's about 28 degrees at the moment, um, 28 Celsius. <laughs> For us, that's pretty hot. So, yeah, pretty happy with a little Yui tractor, uh, 25 horsepower. Um, you know, it, it seems to pull up all the small, knocks over the small trees, digs up everything, moves the rocks and stuff like that. And uh, you know what? As I say, if you can get one, if you have a property, get one because otherwise it would have been wheelbarrow load after wheelbarrow load after wheelbarrow load and you that's you know that's just not that's just not good i'll take the little excavator as well and probably get in there and clean up so um yeah all right thanks for watching okay so good morning we're um going to try and tackle this other side today so this you can't really see it but down here there's four little holes in the ground which I dug out for some footing so I was going to make a little landing out there but I want to fill those in and obviously I want to try and continue you can see where I cleared around here so I want to clear around that way look awkward in the mirror so clear around see if I can get around so today hopefully Jody and I will work on taking these trees down taking some more of this around here so we can get around <laughs> that's really weird so we can get around there and um make it more accessible then we can keep it mowed down we can start getting around the actual shed and uh starting to put all the tin on and the flashing and things like that jody's over there in the background somewhere she's just gone down there to try and find rocky's ball which he was playing with yesterday and he ro rolled down to the natives hill so yep well can't stand around and talk all day but to get stuck into it you have swim in your pond in a minute okay even though you can just drink it like a little thirsty boy so I managed to get to 31 today I know in some parts of the world that's nothing but for us here it's flipping a lot thank goodness we now have the tractor and the excavator
very, very delicious, and I wish there were more of them. But they're, they're spreading, which I'm hoping is not a bad thing. I hope they're not a weed. Very yummy. <coughs> Get it. <laughs> Good boy. Huh? Good boy. All right, come on. This is the only way to work hard, but hardly working. There's the boss. <laughs> okay, so that's another couple of hours done. Um, it does obviously get a bit hot, so we're going to stop for the day. You spent a bit of time with the boys, did a bit of excavating and uh, finishing off, did some trees. You can see over here, we've now done this side of the workshop. So we've now got that side, all of that side done, done all the clearing over there, took some trees down and moved them. And all we've got to do now is just go between the shed and the little back wall and widen that out. And once we've done that, we can start clearing off all of the leaves and tidying it up before we start cladding it. So um yeah it's starting to look really good very impressed at the moment i still am impressed with these ue tractor and the ue excavator you can see over there um you know didn't pay a lot for them and geez they just have had a flog it over the last couple of weeks and they're still ticking along quite nicely so yeah that's all good and that's just another view so you can see that's what we cleared out today filled in those holes took the logs down you can see over here where we've started to come around the back that way and then the next thing is to come along here and clean all that out as you can see it gets pretty close just here so i want to, want to widen that gap up as i said before i want to put a, some sort of drainage system in there the water coming down and building up and uh, obviously so i can get to the side of the shed to clad it and maintain it obviously over time as well so that's it for now um i think what do you think want to go to the pub for a beer yeah i think that's it it's stinking hot. I think it's like 27 degrees. And that's Celsius, by the way. So I don't know what it is in Fahrenheit if anyone's watching from the uh, overseas. But it is a uh, yeah, real stinker. So we're going to call it quits and go to the pub. Um, if you took the time to watch this, thanks very much. And we'll see you next time.